What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Dongle Up another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. In the last episode, we we had a really long episode, is what we had, and we ended up beating Daimon slash Masaru, and we got a little bit of a sneak peek at what's going on behind the scenes, and now we are in the subway. We got a lot of exploring to do down here. Thank you guys for your supportive comments on the last episode. Really does mean a lot, and... Yeah, that being said, let's uh, hop into it. I gotta set my timer real quick. I totally forgot that while I'm recording and stuff, I can't really check on any clocks or anything like that, so I gotta get my phone going. But, all right. And I gotta make sure I'm extra vigilant for any sparkles. Can't miss a thing. I'd imagine we're supposed to go that way, so naturally, I'll explore down here. <laughs> Maybe we're supposed to go the other way. What's the point of going through the ticket gate? Total waste of money. Huh? Did we pay? Do we need to pay? Oh, is that a way of telling us not to go down there? Okay. Alright, so the game is pretty, uh, pretty clear about where it wants us to go. So, what on down here? Got a nice little, almost like, jazzy rendition of the uh, theme song. Ooh. What's going on here? We've got like the typical train level. You're gonna get on here and get attacked by a bunch of Monokumas. The train's not moving. Yes, but we already knew that. <laughs> That's very typical of Komaru. I know, but to see it in person, stop like this, it makes me kind of down, is all. Jeez, are you really going to get depressed over every little thing? Yeah, you're right. We should just walk along the railway. Then we'll be safe, right? <laughs> Komaru just, like, keeps fishing for some reassurance that she's safe. And I don't know if it's intentional or not. It's, it's probably not intentional. It's part of her character that she wants to be reassured in that sense. But Fukawa is also the person that, like, it goes against her character to lie at the... Like, to give that sort of reassurance when she isn't confident in what she's saying herself. I would definitely tend towards Fukawa on that end. Like I said earlier, we can't know that for sure. Believing a lie so strongly just makes the truth that much more painful. <laughs> Pop idols aren't virgins, lottery numbers are fixed. This world is much easier to deal with if you look at it rationally. I think you might have gone a bit off topic there. But nonetheless... For now, there's no other option than to try, right? You're right. I mean, it makes sense. Something wrong, Fukawa? Are you worried about something? I mean, of course she is. Admittedly, that sort of worry comes along with uh, looking at the world rationally. Huh? No, no, not really. It's nothing. It's just, didn't I tell you I'm afraid of the dark? Is that all? There's something else bugging you, isn't there? Listen, if you have a bad feeling about this, or you can sense some kind of danger... <laughs> what, do you think I'm some kind of psychic danger detector or something? If we're gonna do this, let's hurry up and do it now. We'll have to think later. The both of us. Huh? Okay. Interesting. I don't know if that was like a little... Oh, like I am thinking of you. Alright, let's explore over this way. Naturally, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to head the other direction, but... We're gonna be extra vigilant. Anything on the ground here? No? Oh, I'm surprised. Anything back there? Over on that end? In the rubble? No? Oh! Well, there it is! <laughs> I, um, almost... I literally walked into it. Come on. Nice. We, uh, we got Daimon, so that's the first one. The next one we should be looking out for is Jataro, I believe. I think that's the order. Cool, I'm glad we got that. Good start. Anything on the ground here? Looks like it. Oh. Hello. There we go. 
I'm only 16. I don't want to die. I don't get it. I don't want to die. I mean, I'm, I'm just 16, you know? I didn't even confess my feelings to Taka. And I haven't seen Grandpa in like two years. And there's still a lot of things I want to do. There's still a lot of people I want to see before I die. No, I mean, those reasons shouldn't even matter. I don't want to die because I don't want to die. And it's obvious that everyone in my family feels the same way. But they died. They got killed. They got killed without a single pause. Like it was automatic. Like it was nothing. I want revenge. I want to do to them everything they did to my family. I want to kill all those darn children like it was nothing. But I can't do that. I can't do anything. The only thing I can do is just hide. I'm so ashamed. I can't even avenge my family. I'm just a coward. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I survived. I should have been the first to die. Oh, What a sad line of thinking. Can we get on this train? Or no? I, um, nothing to explore in there, it seems. Over this way, check behind the pillars. What about this dead body? Nope. I'm surprised we can't even, like, go on there. Um, oh, we probably do need a lot of ammo. So, let's do this. While we're at it. And it looks like a battery and ammo. So we get some brake bullets. I think that's one of the few things we were actually in need of. Sorry for mixing up the batteries and the uh, bullets so often. I'm sure that got pretty frustrating for at least some of you. Okay, I guess we'll move on. Head on in. I feel like we're gonna get like jumped or there are a bunch of monokubas that are gonna ambush us. Anything over there, there, doesn't seem so. Oh, I see a Monokuma. I see a Monokuma. He's going to come around the pillar here. Hello. Hello. I'm over here. Nice. Come on, get nice and close. Make it nice and easy for me. All right, we got ourselves a level up. Oh, you know what I should probably do is I should check the uh, the skills I have. I can probably equip some more. Anything to do with this door? No, doesn't look so. Oh, hello there. Nice shot from the far. They call me, oh my goodness, so many of you guys had great names for my uh, sniping name. I want to give a special shout out to Nice Shot Nicholas, the super high school level sniper, um, suggested by Rosemary. There are a few others that were really good, don't get me wrong, but okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything over here, maybe up top. Nice, then we'll keep on moving on. I was going to look at my skills, wasn't I? Yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. Oh, you weren't even looking at me. One around the corner? No, I'm surprised. I thought that was going to be like a relatively visible one, so I was going to go up to that, and then there'd be like one lurking in the shadows that would come out and get me, or something like that. But it doesn't seem so. I'm sure that'll be for around this corner. Around this corner, he says. Are you going in the train? Something shiny over here? Nice. Who is this? Um, demon name, Kanon Dosu, Kanon Nakajima. She reminds me of Pekoyama to an extent, but a demon who's really pretty, or who real pretty and doesn't even wear much makeup. A super perverted demon who worked as the manager of the baseball team. When hunting, use a handsome monokuma to make it feel desire for the last time before you kill it. Huh. Interesting. I'm so excited to hear, like, about the lore of all these characters. No commentary from Fukawa? Oh, I'm a little disappointed. Alright, let's um, head on in here then. You're gonna be ambushed? Yeah, probably, but you never know. Let's explore maybe over there. No. I guess we just head over this way, it seems. Anything. Monokuma's waiting out here for us. Doesn't seem so, at least. We check around here. Anything under the train? No. Just being extra vigilant, guys. Don't want to miss a thing. And watch, like, as I'm, you know, looking for all of these, like, secrets and everything, there's gonna be a Monokuma that I just completely miss. Yep, there are the Monokumas! Uh-oh. That's not gonna fare too well. <laughs> for them, it seems. But now we know that they're kind of lurking there, trying to ambush us. Whoa! Those are like riot Monokumas? Interesting. Guard Monokuma. Do we really need to run? I'm intrigued. How fast are they moving? Eh, they're moving pretty quickly. Where am I supposed to run to? Over there, it seems. Yeah. 
Oh, they're not moving too quickly. I'm not feeling too rushed. Anything over that way? No. What about over here? I want to see if there's anything over here. Doesn't seem so. Are they even going to be able to get in here? I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt that's really much of a threat. Anything over there? No. Are they even in the train? Where are we now? The bats! <laughs> Having luck this bad, it's almost comical. <laughs> no it isn't, it's not even one micron funny! Ow! What hurt? What, what was that? Something fall from the ceiling? Something hit my head, it felt like something fell on me from above. From above? Now they look up, and uh oh. Are they trying to cave in the tunnel on us or something? <laughs> no! Oh, she's gonna, she's gonna flip into her other personality. Here we go! Here comes Genocide or Show. <laughs> Gekko Maru? <laughs> I love it. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that art there. Whoa. Oh, we're playing as um, Fukawa. Pretty neat. So we gotta get out of here, it seems. Am I gonna have to actually fight things along the way? But I can't get nice shots. I mean, honestly, we probably have more than enough time. I wonder if it's just, like, faster to normally run. Yo, that speed of that attack is so nice. Oh, but we need to upgrade our power for sure. Oops. Let me pick it up. Can I not just pick it up from, like, normally clicking like I could with Komaru? If not, that's really annoying. But I guess it is what it is. I guess we'll just use E then. Because it's all we really have available. Yeah, I'll need to upgrade the attacking power. So it seems there are going to be points in the game where I need to play as Fukawa. I don't really even have the choice. Anything over that way? I guess I really shouldn't even bother looking for too much because it's not like I can even switch, really. Alright. So, I'm pretty sure we can do our fever. I don't even remember the controls, though. Is there any way we can look at this? System, transcript, options, main menu, load, no. People... Oh, pretty cool. We got that and everything. I need to remember how to get to the controls. Options? No. Um, well, I think it was right click? No, that's the auto aim thing, right? Oh, it seems we got plenty of spread anyway, so I'm not too worried about this. They should all be dead now, I think. Yep. Oh, there's more? Yeah, I'm trying to remember how to do that sort of like fever attack. Or like that one big, like special attack it seems. Yo, let me get these coins. Like I said, I'm not really concerned about time. <laughs> For how fast she looks like she's running, she's really slow. Monokuma is behind the pillars, no. Oh, okay, there are a lot of Monokumas. It's not that, is it shift? Or space? No, doesn't seem so. I don't know. Either way, I'm not too worried because our attacking is so fast that I'm not, I'm not like in hit lag for too long, so I'm not really vulnerable for too long anyways. Where's the last one? Oh, there isn't a last one anymore. <laughs> Let's reap our rewards. All my coins. I gotta be able to, you know, spend some, drop some top dollar on Fukawa's uh, powers so that I'm not spending so much time swinging around. Anything behind there? No. Doesn't seem so. Alright. Yeah, we had, we had plenty of time there. <laughs> but yeah, for how fast she's... Moving, or it looks like she's moving. She's really not moving that quick. <laughs> Boy, was that dangerous. That was crazy. 
Boy crazy. <laughs> why why did your personality change? You didn't even shoot yourself with a stun gun. Huh? I didn't tell you? My personality switches when I go unconscious too. Great. And I'll stay this way until I go unconscious again. What? <laughs> Komaru's like, I gotta figure out some way to knock her out again. Sneezing is the same way, my personality totally changes. It's downright refreshing. You also change by sneezing? That's right, if I have a little pepper in my breakfast or lunch. I thought she was supposed to be able to get it under control though. And here she is. <laughs> She really did change. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but I can take a guess. I'd imagine she'd get used to it at this point. <laughs> Jeez, this is one tough break after another. How unlucky are you? This is wrong. Definitely wrong. Ooh, this music. I just want to get out of this place. Why? Why can't I do it? Was I right? Is it really impossible? I'll never escape. That might be the case. Huh? I mean... I just talked about this a bit before, but Komaru is really seeking this reassurance and Fukawa is not the type of person to give it. But even if you can't escape, you can still survive. That's a fair point. All you need to do is face them. Fight them. Fight? <laughs> You have been fighting, Komaru. Kawasan, what are you saying? There's no way I can fight. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Wait, hold on. Over there. What's going on over there? There's a couple of the kids. What do they got? A TV? What is this, Saw? Would you like to play a game? Are we trapped down here? TV a bomb? <laughs> a broadcast from the uh, the Warriors of Hope? Oh, Jataro. Huh? <laughs> What's with this creepy little kid? Uh, am I on already? Uh, oh, I was gonna raise the curtain after Kotoko introduced me with a joke. <laughs> hey, is this kid with them too? Is he a part of that Warriors of Hope or whatever? Yeah. Yep. Lil Ultimate Art. I'm the priest, Jataro Kemuri, aka Lil Ultimate Art. <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to act a lot cooler than he is. But I'll warn you now, don't say my name out loud. It's a curse. <laughs> Don't mess with me, brat. Take off that mask. I'm sweating just looking at it. <laughs> no, horrible. If I do that, your eyeballs are going to explode. Huh? He's got that low self-esteem. Thinks he's that ugly. <laughs> I 
Even I don't want to see that someone's eyeballs melting off because of my face. <laughs> Wait, why is this relevant? Oh, by the way, do you know? Is it just an urban legend that they use bugs to make food die? Because, like, wasabi and stuff with the taste and the color, it's suspicious. What? Why? Why are we talking about this now? <laughs> you, I'm sure you've heard this before, but you're totally gross. Huh? Gross? I don't know, I think I'm a cheerful kid. That's a fair point. Oh, maybe I, I just don't understand what cheerful is. Then I apologize. I'm sorry. Yikes. It's, it's, it's all good, dude. It's all good, man. I'm really sorry. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry. I beg you, forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. Um, enough already. You're grossing me out. Fukawa is just like a person that's like, tell me what you need to say, tell me what you want to say, so I can respond to it, so I can understand what you're trying to do, and don't say anything more. I don't need any of that other crap. <laughs> huh? You don't forgive me? Whoa, what's up with his eyes? Is he like lit by the, the fact that she hates him or what? If, if you don't forgive me, does that mean you hate me? Well, maybe not. Maybe you're just teasing me like boys who tease the girls they like. Yikes. I mean, if you guys are little boy lovers and just want to love me till you go crazy... <laughs> Even if we were siblings in a previous life, I'd still hate you. Well, what are you trying to say? I don't really get it. Yeah, <laughs> let's get to the point, Ataro. Well, I can understand. This is like a yawn after all, huh? <laughs> That's pretty funny. It just comes out of my mouth involuntarily. Nobody can make anything of it. I don't even understand it either. <laughs> yeah, I, I am very much feeling like, alright, let, let's get on with it, Jotaro. <laughs> this whole thing is just killing time, just a distraction from the horrors around you. You guys must be pretty laid back if you're actually interested in what I'm saying. As expected of demons. <laughs> I've had enough of this. Goodbye. <laughs> then say what you want to say! Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I was just trying to be nice. I wanted to tell you something. Tell us what? Um, it's regrettable, but the one with the wristband can't leave the city. Can't leave? Why? Well, you're you're a target for our game, right? The game isn't fair if there aren't any rules. Everything was already thought out. A limit. So that means there's a limit in this game, a time limit? Limit? Don't tell me! The reason that boy exploded when he tried to leave this town swimming... Huh? I mean, I, I thought Fukawa of all people would understand that it was probably the, the wristband that blew up as a result of going out there. But we still don't know the 100% mechanism. I think there was a comment that talked about this. We don't know if they're watching and detonating of their own volition or if it's a distance 
thing um, or if it's like a timer outside of a specific area. But at this point, it seems like they're not watching, they're not doing it intentionally, it's like pre-programmed. That's not our fault, it's not like we wanted him to blow up or anything. The wristband is made to explode when the user goes outside the town without permission. <laughs> well, when I say it like that, I, I guess it kinda is our fault. <laughs> you should have said that in the first place. Omaru here was about to explode. But some things are better left unknown. Adults say that all the time. It would be better for Mr. Pig if he didn't find out he was about to be bacon. Eh, it doesn't change the fact that Mr. Pig is gonna die, so isn't it better not to tell him? <laughs> oh, don't go acting all philosophical about this. This game's rules are managed way too loosely. You're wrong, this isn't a game. I mean, people are dying. Yuta, he, he died, you know. To call what happened to him a, a game. There's some games that require you to risk your life. Huh? What do you mean? Hello, can you not just ignore me? I don't like being ignored. Yo, get on with what you have to say. Huh? Hey, um, which do you not like more, being ignored or ghosts? I don't like ghosts more. What? Ghosts are always cursing people and killing them all of a sudden. It makes me super mad. What? <laughs> I love this sprite too. She's like upset and you can see like her face is like getting red with like frustration, but at the same time she's like emotional from, she still have the tears from like being sad and everything. She's like, stop just like messing with us. Stop it already. Stop saying things that make no sense. That's right, just keep hating me. All you have to do is hate me. I'm from the hate planet, where being hated makes you feel good, and it's easier to just be hated. He sounds like a kid. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. I hate gross little boys like you to death. Huh? Well, you just said, doesn't it kind of sound like love if you flip it around? No. I was worried, so I had to make double sure. That's why I called you guys. Double sure? Oh no, what are we gonna take a look at? If you guys see this, you're gonna hate me even more. Yikes. What are we gonna be treated to? This does not look good. A playroom of sorts? Huh? What is going on? This is so interesting. Is that Togami? Are we gonna see something with Togami? Maybe... Komaru's family? Huh? Yikes. <gasps> what even? What? Who was that? Who was that? They were wearing the red shoes, it looked like a girl. It kind of reminded me of Inoshima, but... 
I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look, it must be something horrible. So this guy hunted him down at the shopping district, and this one I hunted in the bathroom. Yikes, and you can see he kind of like crucified them? Oh, are you disgusted? He's making dioramas out of the dead bodies? But I can't just stop. Making dioramas is like the only hobby I have. So how about it? I put a bad taste in your mouth. So now you hate me, right? Or maybe you guys aren't affected by this because you have disgusting hobbies too. Oh man, please just stop already. Why do you want me to stop? Maybe both? Because you already hate me enough? Or because you don't want to hate me? Because it's a waste of time? Because you're tired of it? Because you don't want to be? <laughs> I mean, I don't know for sure. I'm just a kid, so I don't know what you really mean. You, how crazy can you be? And if I am, whose fault is it? Well, it doesn't really matter. After all, I have so much fun now compared to before. I should thank Mr. and Mrs. Demons. Huh? I want to say thank you for teaching me that I'm nothing but ugly, nasty, worthless filth. I live like filth, surrounded by filth, inside this paradise where no adults can get in the way. Interesting. I, I'm really not getting my, uh, my mind around his psyche at the moment, but I guess that's the end of the message, it seems. Yikes. Komaru seems to be having a difficult time uh, keeping it together after that. Understandably so. <laughs> Fair point. Crying like a kid won't make them treat you like one. Are you really going to just accept it? Be their prey? If not, there's only one thing to do. You can't run. You have to fight. Like I said, that's impossible. Komaru, you already have been fighting. No, it's not impossible. You have Bianca Yasumo's gun, don't you? No, that's not what I mean. I'm not like you. I'm just a normal high school student who can't do anything, you know? Just running would be hard enough, but to fight? That's impossible! And just why do you think I'm here? What? I'm not telling you to deal with it on your own. Better not forget, I'm with you too. Aww. If it's impossible to do on your own, well, then I guess I have to do it with you. So, just a little more, just fight a little bit more. Oh, I really like this. I like the dynamic so much. 
It's okay to rely on you? <laughs> You've already relied on me. Isn't it a bit late to ask that? You're right. Sorry. Yeah, no kidding. Not to mention it's dangerous given everything that just happened. If you have time to apologize, might as well do it outside. The atmosphere here is oppressive. Hey, Fukawa-san. I already told you, don't apologize. No, it's not that. Aww, thank you. <laughs> that blush, though. What are you being so honest for? It's just, uh, gross. So come on, enough of that grossness and let's hurry up and get outside. Yeah, okay. Cool. That was a, that was a nice little cutscene. Is there, um... I guess we'll head on out now, it seems. I don't think there would be any, like, new secrets in the areas we've already looked, you know? Um, I don't think so, at least. It'd be cool if there were a small little, like, audio cue as to when you were getting closer to something, or... I don't know. Yeah, because I feel like it's really easy to miss a lot of things, and... Given previous things, um, apparently, you know, places we've already been to can have items spawn there. Let's hurry and get outside. Don't worry, Fukala, don't worry. We'll get out there eventually, but it'll have to be, of course, in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was fun messing around as Fukala a little bit, uh, traveling. We got our first, I don't know, sticker in, like, the real levels, per se. And it seems Jataro is the one that's going to be our next big boss or the next instigator of whatever we end up doing, so... I don't know where we're actually going to head next. It seems like, you know, each idea keeps getting shot down as we go for it. So, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. But, until the next episode, this is Moon 90. And this mission is complete. <laughs>